When the, the, the family self-concept is, is part of this belief system and, and I can see that that's exactly what I went through with what I call the biological family. At first, I had just this explosive feeling of joy. I, just, it was, I think it's a natural feeling for all of us to want to share happiness and joy with loved ones in particular or family. And I see Christine here, she's, that's one of the reasons she's, <laughs> she's come to this retreat, just for that question. <laughs> that's like her primary, she says, now we're getting into the good stuff. <laughs> but uh, I, I know initially um, when I would share all this joy, and even if I wasn't saying too much about the words using those semantics, I was just feeling it, it was like I was going to burst. And I would just even start to hint at it. The, it would be like eyes breaking, breaking eye contact, changing the subject, <laughs> turn the TV up louder, uh, walk out of the room. Uh, you know, it would be like pretty strong verbal and nonverbal clues, like not interested, not interested. <laughs> and then, of course, I just had so much enthusiasm that I thought, I just need to persist in this. No. No. At, at one point, uh, I remember my biological mother, Evelyn. It's interesting, my biological mother was, was Evelyn, my biological father was John, very biblical <laughs> kind of names. And then my biological sister, her first two names were Mary and Joe, the, the, the parents of Jesus. It's like, oh, is this a setup or what? It took me 40 years too to realize that my, my German last name meant Master of Hope. It took 40 years before I got a clue on that one, but it was like, this is like a setup. Uh, somebody had fun with this whole, writing this whole thing up. But, but anyway, at one point I remember with my biological mother, I was talking with her and I was sharing and everything, and she just looked at me almost matter-of-factly and just said, you need to find other people to share this with. And I thought to myself, that's the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit telling me, I will perform miracles through you, but I must direct where to bestow those miracles. You know how Jesus would always say, for those that have the ears to hear, let them hear. That was my lesson. I was like, no wonder I was having such friction there. You know, was, was I was saying, I will bestow this, <laughs> these miracles on the biological family, and they should be grateful <laughs> that I'm doing this, and Jesus is like, no, 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 this is not the way that it works. So, when she said, you need to see other people, and she did also have one other comment. She said, I don't need a minister. I already have a minister. <laughs> and I thought, okay, very good, very well. And, and then, just like Gary was talking about yesterday, I just opened up to okay, I don't really feel the need that I have to go anywhere. I mean, I, I had such contentment, but I'm willing, you know, to go wherever you want me to go, if you want me to go anywhere. I don't think I could say I even had a preference or an inclination. Like when my sister and I were young, we really didn't enjoy traveling. We were always the, the kids, are we there yet, you know, out of the feeling. So when I started traveling and going to following the invitations where they would come, then there was lots of joy and lots of expressions of joy. And it was like this feeling that Jesus' Spirit was doing it through me and was, was orchestrating or bringing this about as a witness to listening and following, not in trying to tell the Spirit where I was going to bestow the miracles. So it was a huge lesson. Now, I think what you're talking about, or what Christine is mentioning with the family self-concept, Jesus did say things like, you know, who is my father, mother, sister, brother, he that does the will of my father in heaven, my father, mother, sister, brother. The deeper I've gone into this, the more I've realized that I really, really had to let go of those self-concept identifications completely before I could let them be given back to me. So I did hit the road Kind of like Jesus, you know, hit the road there for a few years. I hit the road and would call back as guided and 
have contact occasionally. And then when I got really happy, a funny thing happened. They got really happy. Everybody. I mean, even when I went back to the biological family, all of a sudden, they were all lit up. It was almost like there was a sense of recognition. Not that they were asking metaphysical questions, but there was a sense of love that was there. And people said, wow, your parents really changed a lot. And I said, no, actually, it was my consciousness that changed. They just were reflecting that. So.